Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Mr. Gibbs and welcome back to Doctor Who Modern Survival. Here we are again today, everybody, and now, jeez, inferior, I, I'm starting to think that they don't, they just don't grow in here. I'm, I'm starting to think that inferior Gibbs is just gonna be a little inferior Gibbs his, his whole entire life. Um, who knows? I guess, whoa! What? That was some sick, nasty move you just pulled there, dude. Wow, he just dove right into the concrete. Maybe he's part silverfish. Did you cheat on me? Did you cheat on me with a silverfish and that's what happened? That nasty creation over there. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're going to get out of here. I'm pretty sure Molly's going to be born into the world today, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Kind of sure. Half sure. She should be. Um, She takes a while. She takes a good old time. I want to go into the overworld real quick to check up on Phil. Uh, the future, future king of the, of the overworld. Um, how is he doing? No, he's doing good. He's still in his colonial garb. He hasn't grown up at all. Why don't you grow? Why are there people swimming in the ground? Stop it. Um, are there still people in this world? Oh, wait, I, I guess I let them out. Um, <laughs> I remember a long time ago, there used to be people swimming in this well, so I wanted to double check on them because I haven't done that in a while. I guess they figured a way out. Um, God, look at this. It's like a, it's like a ray is beaming down on him like he has some significance. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I feel like he's gonna be important one day, but I guess he still says as small as ever. That's sad. But, uh, let's get back in here and let's go check up on Molly's future homeworld. Uh, the place that I said I asked for you guys to name and you gave me a bunch of good names. Some strange names, some crazy names, and... And some uh, pretty pretty nice names. So we're going to go check up on this place and uh, see how they're all doing. Oh, whoop, yep, I forgot I put this here. So it looks like everybody's doing good. Uh, you guys had a lot of names for it, a lot of funny names and play on words. I liked it. Uh, some people wanted me to name it the original name of the city, but I feel like, feel like that wouldn't fit right now because we conquered it in a way. Oh, God, I picked up the wood. We conquered it. I feel like it deserves a different name right now. Um, because I don't want to, like, I'm going to be probably doing a lot of dark stuff in here. I don't want to soil the name of the other, of the other one in the actual show. So, it is time for a renaming, uh, and, and everything like that. Now, some of you guys said I should name it, like, Gibopolis, Gibtopia, Gib, like, there's a bunch of stuff. And I really like Gibopolis. I think that's a, I think it's a, it kind of flows off the tongue really nice. Somebody said I should name it, uh, Gibbs Slave Dome, uh, which sounds a bit intimidating. I don't think anybody's gonna be like, hey, you wanna take a vacation to Gibbs' Slave Dome? Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> I hear it's really nice this time of year in the Slave Dome. Yeah, that doesn't sound too appealing. Um, although, uh, that's pretty much what it is. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty much a Slave Dome. Uh, but they're not, well, they're really not doing anything slavey. They're kinda just chilling. Look, I even gave that guy a diamond hat. So, I mean, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not that bad. Uh, here's this really stout lumberjack of a woman hello uh rachel the farmer i don't know why she's so wide i don't know she's like the only and she's the only villager i've ever seen that's that wide i don't understand it but whatever she was she was born a brute she could probably do some good slave work actually but today i think i'm going to i'm pretty sure this is where my tardis is supposed to be uh hooked up to one of these but it's limited access i don't like this tight space here i like to keep my stuff out open in the open. I have a, I still have a marker over there. I should probably get rid of that. Um, let's hold out Molly so that she'll be ready to be born soon because I really want to put her down, um, right now. Oh, that is a hole there. I don't remember how that got there. I probably did that. But yeah, I want to be able to place her today. Um, hello, Jesus. He is looking, he's looking like he actually did some work. I feel like he's the one moving these dirt blocks around. He's, he's looking a little messy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into the center of this place, and we're gonna we're gonna see if that's gonna be good for Molly to be placed down. This is like her palace. This is Molly's palace right here. That's what we'll call it. She's gonna be she's gonna be the the queen of it. What are you doing in there? That's strange. Um, seems as if you have some sort of significance, Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa the the miner. I like her. I think I'm gonna take her with me. Follow me. Follow me, Vanessa. All right, you are now my. You are now my partner in crime. I'm gonna. I wish I could take her throughout like uh, dimensions, like into the TARDIS and everything. It's sad that they won't. Uh, whoa! Why is your shadow so dark? That is interesting. Maybe she's evil. Maybe you're evil. That is, that is definitely a sign of evil, right there. That is. That is something. Uh, there are a lot of people in here. Uh, is wait? Does this person look identical to the one that's? No oh, shit. 
I knew it. It's a cloning machine. They clone themselves. They have different names, though. At least they name themselves differently. This is gonna be a problem. Alright. Didn't know I'd have to deal with clones. This is some sort of machine, isn't it? Come on, get in there. Get get in there and stay there. Get back up, back up in there. See how many times you uh, can procreate with yourself. That's interesting. Uh, I did... I don't remember putting down two of them, but I guess it happened somehow. Alright, I think this is the way up. Yeah, this was, this was the way up? Was this the way up? Oh, this is like... Whoa, Jesus, whoa! Alright. Did I step on... Oh, that's why I fell into the hole. Okay, that makes sense. That's dangerous. Someone should fix that. Does this do that? No, that one's broken. Uh, Alright, this is the way... Yeah, okay. This is probably where I'm gonna have to put her down at. I'll have to give her some loyal subjects. That's what I should do. I should I should put down some uh, some loyal subjects to keep her safe. Uh, I'm gonna have once she's born. I'm gonna have three rulers. One of Gallifrey, all right. One one of uh, the Overworld, and one in the TARDIS. My TARDIS. Now I also need to have. I need to take over Scaro. I need to defeat the boss there, and maybe inject my seed into that planet and by inject my seed i mean put down one of my children <laughs> uh so yeah maybe i should do that i really need to go look for that boss i saw his his uh boss bar once at the top so maybe we'll do Ooh, maybe we could do that i just really want to put molly down before i go fight him uh because that could be uh that could be dangerous for babies babies don't do well around guns that are shooting at them i don't think I've never tested this theory, but I'm assuming that they wouldn't handle that very well. Uh, they'd probably grow up to be pretty messed up, so let's just go with that. Ah, okay. So, Molly, this is a perfect time for you to be born into the world. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is a wonderful place. I really like this. Uh, my, my slave dome. I mean, Gibtopia. Gibopolis. Get, what are we calling it again? <laughs> I don't even know. Gibopolis. Um, god, look at that. The TARDIS. I should really get rid of that waypoint over there. Um, but any second, Molly should be ready to be born into this, this world, this dome. I've never had a baby that, that took this freaking long to get born into the world. I don't know what it is about Molly, but maybe she's gonna be extra smart. Maybe she's gonna have, like, an extra leg or something, or, or, or five arms. But she's taking a while to, to develop in my arms right now. So hopefully, uh, hopefully if we stand on this cold brock, we can speed up the process here. All right, come on, Molly, uh, come on, Molly version 2.0. You can do this. I'm really starting to think I got a defective baby here. Maybe I should go, like, do a trade-in at Walmart or something and get one of, like, those robot things. Because at least that'll do something besides just sit here, my freaking defective baby. Hitting it on the ground probably doesn't make it grow faster. I don't think if you knock your children's head against the ground, they, like any progress is made actually the opposite of that they're probably that would probably be very bad but i'm doing it okay everybody i would like to share a strange experience i'm having with you all see all right so i came i i came into the overworld that I, I was thinking like hey maybe if i bring her to the overworld she will she will evolve into a different she will poke evolve into something faster but then i came here and i took a look at philip and it seems as if Philip has taken on a name change to the child. What? Uh, what does this mean? The child? His name was Philip. I promise everyone his name was Philip. His name is just the child. What does this mean? Maybe he's the chosen one. <gasps> maybe he's the chosen one. Or maybe I just broke the game. That's probably it, but maybe. Maybe he's the chosen one chosen one brilliant the child i shall refer to you as such from now on all right the child you better stay here and do something cool i guess because like i don't know evidently you're some sort of prodigy let's get in here and let's go ahead and check out the other the other child and see if his name changed because i think i may have broken something i think i might have broken the system here um what are you, son in Fury Gibbs? No, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. I don't know, I don't know why the other one completely went through a name change. Maybe because I don't see him that much, and he's like, I'm just gonna call myself something else now, because he's, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on there. Um, I don't think, I think my baby still cannot be freaking born into the world. 
Uh, we're going to test the theory. Nope. Still not. I think something's defective right now. Because uh, this baby has been a baby for like three whole episodes now. And is still not poke evolved into something else. So <laughs> I'm starting to think. I'm starting to wonder. Maybe he she needs to see some hardcore action. So let's go. Let's go into Skaro. All right. Let's just go over there and uh, we'll just we'll just wait. Uh, maybe maybe she needs some experience to poke evolve. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here and let's get into Skaro and see if we can find the. Whoa! Something was going on over there. Did you guys see that? You guys see all that, like, the the weird stuff going on? What? The butts is going on over here. Okay. Something's going on, guys, and I don't know what. But something in this world is happening that that shouldn't be happening. But it most certainly is. SD block. Okay, this is a block that I'm not supposed to have, I guess. Um. Okay. What? <laughs> this is interesting. I just got a lot of experience there, didn't I? Um. Okay. So, let's evaluate the situation. I have no idea what just happened. That's pretty much all I got out of that. Um. That was very strange. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if, like, the boss died there, or if just a bunch of Daleks died there, but that was an abnormal amount of experience, and also, and also, uh, there was a big hole. <laughs> I don't know how the big hole got there. Ah, that is very strange. Okay, well, let's peek over this mountain and see. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, we got a big old lag spike there. See if we can find anything else like that. I don't think it's a normal thing, though. I'm just going to take a shot in the dark and say that was not normal. At all. Uh, but we're going to try and find this boss. I don't know if there's more than one here or if there's only one guy and he just exploded into a massive amount of experience. But I'm hoping that he's still alive because I want to meet him face to face. I want to meet him. Uh, okay. He might be in a ship. I don't know. Yo, whoa, whoa, okay, getting some lag spikes in this planet, okay, let's go over to that ship, see if something happens, oh, I gotta eat, see if something happens, I'm just waiting for a boss bar to pop up on the top of my screen, I'm thinking that's gonna be our, our number one way to know, actually, let's go this way, I, that will be, that will be pretty much our only way of knowing, and if, if he only spawns once, guys, and you think that he may have just died somehow, let me know. Because that would probably save me some time here. Um, just a little bit, though. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wander around a bit, see what happens. You know, what's the worst that could happen? I just die? Yes, probably. And that's the risk I'm willing to take. All right, I'm gonna point out something here. There is a strangely low amount of Daleks. Uh, there's actually none. I have absolutely seen zero. What is the dealio? Oh, whoa! Crashed. It crashed. All right, what the hell, man? Why? Why did the? Oh God! It crashed again. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, guys. All right, the boss is here, and it's the reason that the game is crashing. All right, if you did see, I'm so. This is. Oh God! I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out quick before the game crashes again. Oh. Okay. Whew. That was something, guys, literally, that ge the game just crashed like 50 times of me just trying to stay in the game long enough to get the TARDIS up and show you that the reason why the game was crashing was because of the boss. And I don't know why that is, because I see I saw that boss bar before and it worked perfectly fine. I think as my, as my children poke evolve into new things, like... Our freaking Messiah, the child, out in the overworld. I think, uh, I think more things break. And that's scary. That's a scary thought. Uh, oops, there's some wood. So I'm gonna go out and see the child and ask him why he's being such a dick. Um, why are you crashing the game? Could you. Oh! Oh! Well, this is a thing. Alright. 
We're fine. Good thing I didn't lose my cool there. <laughs> Ooh, all right, child, where are you? All right, there's more people in the well again. That's nice to see. What are you? Whoa, okay, his name's back. Son Phil. Son Phil. Okay. All right. All right, the child. I, I think I saw his true form. I think that's what I saw. He's a demon baby. That's what he is. That's what he is. When he turned into the child, everything went wrong. But now he's son Phil again. This is creepy, guys. I'm not liking this. There's some very strange things happening today. This is a very strange episode. I don't know what to make of all of it. But the baby's ready to grow up. So that's all that freaking matters, I guess. What the hell? Okay. Okay. Whew. This is what we've been waiting for. Maybe she can stop evil, her evil brother from crashing the game. Uh, son, son Phil. God, I didn't, I didn't know I could bring such a monster into the world. Uh, tell me your guys' theories about Phil. I don't know what's going on, but evidently it's bad. Evidently, he is a, he's a monster. But just tell me what you think, because I'm interested to know. Maybe you guys can figure it out better than I could. Oh, this is where the TARDIS is supposed to be, I think. Yeah, that's, that seems about right. But uh, I need to get into this place so I can put Molly down and she can fight off her evil brother or something like that. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. I'm going to have to get her some some loyal protection around her to uh to to keep to keep Phil away. Uh what if he comes what if he comes and tries to kill her? I'm set on thinking he's pretty evil, guys. I don't know about you, but I think he's an evil bastard. Um Molly, daughter Molly version 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a robot. Oh, okay, Molly. Well, you got a you got a dark future. Oh no, she's got the she got a little bit of evil in her. She's got a little bit of evil in her. Get off that block. Okay. She got a she got a scary future ahead of her with this whole fill up thing going on. So I'm gonna get her some things in next episode, some people to guard her, and maybe some armor and weapons and everything. Maybe I'll train her to fight a little bit. Um, but I think, I think some strange things are happening here, guys, in Gibopolis. Some strange things are happening in the world here. We're gonna have to figure them out. Alright, let's go down here. <laughs> Whoop! <sighs> Alright, everybody, I hope you did enjoy today's strange episode. I don't know what's going on, but there are, there are some crazy things happening. Let me know your theories. Let me know. We're going to have to figure this one out. All right, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you all next time. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic life. Goodbye. I feel wait, like hold on. this is him, but wait a second. No, don't wait. don't make any rash decisions. I'm not. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Gibbs? Are we hotter? No! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. You guys can kill me. Okay. Got him. Alright, who, um, I guess... I want to find him. You want to be the hunter now? Yeah. Yeah, since, yeah, yeah. Brock will be it next, and then I'll be it.